What's up, everybody? Welcome back to Third Person. This is the Third Person Podcast. My name is Chris, and with me, as always, are my boys, Mike and Jesse. What's up? How's it going? Uh, guys, tonight, what we're going to do is the uh, Walking Dead Season 7, second half of Season 7 predictions. But this is coming off the heels of... You good there, Jess? Yeah, I'm, I'm good. Uh, make some adjustments, man. <laughs> Oh this is coming God. this is coming fresh off the heels of the trailer, the 30 second trailer we got from AMC and then also the sneak peek we got from The Talking Dead. Yeah. So, we're kind of rolling kind of our like review reaction slash predictions all into one video for you guys. So, uh that's what that's what we're going to do tonight. So, having said all that, where are we going, guys? Uh, let's go right into Rick's meeting with Ezekiel and will it follow the comics? Ah, good point. So, so in this, in the trailer, uh, for the upcoming second half, we did see Rick multiple times. We saw multiple scenes with him and Ezekiel when, Mm -hmm. you know, in the auditorium where we saw Carol meet him. Uh, we saw them like outside. Uh, so yeah. So which brings the question of will Michonne get her line from the comic? Yeah. That's right. (laughs) In the comic, if you guys don't remember, in the comic, she's the one that makes a comment about Shiva, like, you gotta be kidding me, or you know what I mean? And, um, crap, I don't have any... Carol made it already in episode two, but I want to hear Michonne say it. Yeah. Um, I want to see Michonne's blade. I want to see Michonne's blade touch Ezekiel's blade. (laughs) Wowzers. (laughs) Well, they they touch swords. Damn it! Why every time I say uh, that? <laughs> because the first time he said it, I thought he was talking about Rick. Well, all right. So in the comic, Michonne draws her blade on Ezekiel because of the tiger or whatever, and he has a blade. Put your in weapon his... away. Yeah, and they and they touch swords. It's like I don't know how else to say it. They cross blades. Shiva's not my weapon. She's my pet. This is my weapon. Yeah, yeah. I, it's so good and so classic. It was so it was so wonderful. Um, so we're so will we get that type of scene in there? And then and then the rest of them, the whole time. Remember, Ezekiel brings them into the the lunch room and he's like, "Sit down, dine," and all this stuff. And they're all like, "What the yeah. fuck? Is, who the fuck is yeah. this guy?" Like that whole time, they're like, "What the hell is going on here?" You know, similar to Carol. So I'm slightly disappointed we didn't get more Ezekiel this season, by the way. Yeah, Slight. I mean, fuck, once, but he look, he's gonna be in plenty. Look, I guess they decided we didn't really get Carol either. I mean, she's one major. episode. We start... Well, two. Well, two, two right? Last, but, but well, all right, yeah. We'll probably yeah. get more of them this second. Yeah, half. Well, we definitely are. Most of them. We yeah. definitely right are. away. Right? Yeah. Are we assuming that we're gonna see this meeting? I'm assuming first right, episode. We'll first see first episode. Yeah. Well, as far I'm as the, it's an hour and a half. Well, don't forget the um. So the sneak peek showed them coming out of. We ended the season them walking up to the hilltop into the yeah. into the building. Then the, the sneak peek was them walking out to, and Rick going through. You know, being Rick, being like, okay, we got to get more bodies. We got to do this. We got to get this. We have to do this. They're gonna be looking for Dallas and that. Mm-hmm. Oh, we have to go talk to um. You know, whatever. And then Jesus is like, well, hold on a second. You guys don't have to leave. I have, I, we have, I have this, this walkie talkie. He's like, uh, you know, I can listen in, whatever, blah. He's like, I think it's time you meet King Ezekiel. Rick's yeah. like, King? Like, so. King. Yeah. So we know that that's most likely going to be, obviously, in the next episode. And they're going to get brought to the kingdom, which is cool. So right away, you know. <laughs> I can just imagine the look on Rick's face. Welcome, friends. Welcome to the kingdom. I am King yeah. Ezekiel. What the heck? But you yeah, know what? Rick's Rick gonna be very. He's gonna be very stoic. He's gonna be like, very like what? Uh, well, we what seen we seen hell? him. He obviously he you know he obviously speaks with him. We see that in the Rise Up trailer. Right. Yeah. You know that that Rick is doing you know doing the talking and they they he's saying that they have a common enemy and that we're all serving you know we're all serving. Uh, I couldn't keep a straight face and, during that. No. Yeah. Well. It's gonna be yeah. It's gonna be a cool scene to to definitely to to yeah. look because we saw how Carol, you know how Carol. Um, I would have been like Carol. I've been just smiling everywhere. Like yeah, yeah. So we'll get some real reactions because obviously Carol was putting on an act, you yeah. know. To you know, Rick, they they don't mess around like that. So it's gonna be interesting to see how they react to Shiva, you know, and how they react to this. You know, the way Ezekiel. things are done in this town, right? Which yeah. is very interesting. This guy. Which is which is really cool because I feel like we forget that 
we're 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 we know what happens so we we we're kind of used to it but you got to think of the people that don't know the comic yeah. and really have no idea what's coming and really have no idea who's going to meet who and this like think about it. so now you have this group of people who's going to meet yet another town and they haven't even they've barely talked to the hilltop they've they found yeah. out about the hilltop yeah. and we've barely been there rick rick Twice. has rick even fucking been there no yeah. Well, just from... But I'm saying only once. Yeah. But you yeah, know what I'm twice. saying? Like, well, not... Okay, twice, I guess. But the point is, is like, yeah. So it's like, we didn't even get any of that yet. So it's like, I don't know why they're like tiptoeing it. But now we're going to end up getting a whole bunch. There's going to be shit with Gregory. He's going to be a bitch. Um, so, so... Gregory. Right. Talking I don't about think, that... I don't think Gregory's not going to be any, you know, any worry at all. You know, I would... Really I don't I mean, either. Yeah, they're going to walk in there... They're gonna pretty much tell Gregory what the fuck they're doing. We've already seen. Well, you know, that. he we might got Jesus on our side. He yeah. might listen. He might, you know, the show version. He might be a dick. Well, most, well, most definitely be a dick. But he may yeah. be like, you know, he's not a spy in this comic version. Yeah, I think he might be like, yeah, all right, yeah, I don't like what they do, but I don't think we should attack them because I got yeah. a good thing going here. He keeps thinking that he's, he's a got little, a good yeah. thing going. Well, Look what Look I what did. Happened. You're not yeah. attacking me now. Yeah, yeah, you know what I'm saying? Like, fuck you. You, you haven't done shit. You're an asshole. But, I, yeah, I mean, I don't think... Well, that like goes he... with... Yeah, that goes with who cares what he says because we already see that the Hilltop people have respect for Maggie. For Maggie, right, yeah. No, I you agree know? with you, though. Well, they're going yeah. to fight. It's yeah, not he's gonna not be... going to be... He's not yeah. going to be much of an issue. That's why they're, like, walking out. But, um... Ah, crap. forgot what I was going to say. Um, oh, oh, oh! I was gonna say because um, you know, going back to like Ezekiel and the kingdom, we could we can get right into talking about something in the, the show, the boots. We yeah. we had some thoughts on who the boots belong to at the end of the um the last episode where we saw the boots following Rick, and then we again then we Multiple saw someone. In, yeah, we saw the boots a couple times, and we saw someone in the woods with binoculars. Um, in the comic. Mm. The first time we see Rick actually speaking to Ezekiel, he's asking him about other people, and he asks him about Dwight. And if you recall, Dwight had already turned against Negan and was yeah, the, and, captured, right? And he went and he, you know he initiated this whole "we should work together" because it was him in the comic that initiated that. Yeah. So, yeah. So, and don't forget, we didn't see Dwight all last episode. So, I think it's safe to in say, his room, wasn't right? Wasn't with Negan. Yeah, I think well, it's yeah. safe to say that that's going to be Dwight. I think they, yeah, I think they specifically put, you know, because we mentioned this in the in the mid season finale video about how um, they purposely we purposely didn't see um, Dwight and that Daryl ends up in his room and yeah, so I think that um, it definitely, I mean, it definitely could be. There was I did see some other um, you know YouTubers posting videos about this and. What I did notice from some of them, without really taking any, it's not taking any of their ideas or anything, but they did a comparison of of some stills of the boots that that um, Dwight was wearing that that's been wearing, yeah, and man. yet it is a similar style boot. It it isn't the same boot that we see with that kind of spider webby. Yeah, looking. I don't know. I, I mean, also, that's I that's don't getting. Know. A- you know? Even in the zombie apocalypse, you have more than one pair of shoes. I'm just saying. Well, there was multiple shots that were put out Focusing. there. Yeah. And it's I the mean, same yeah, exact. I don't know. They just, you know. Boot. I'm not going to say that that's for sure, but I do follow with you guys. I do think that The Walking Dead purposely um, let let us, you know, get that kind of idea by the you know the same the, the reason that Dwight wasn't there in the first place when when Daryl was able to sneak yeah, out and all the same stuff. shit with remember with so, you still don't technically know who let Daryl out in the first place. That's a good point. Well, we have two That's two possible point. suspects. Yeah, and that could have been know... Dwight. It could have been Dwight. Been Dwight or his wife or ex. And that was, would that's what I was getting at. We got right. two possible sus- uh, suspects. I, well, three or Jesus. We ruled that one out last time. I don't know. You can keep on believing Jesus. Yeah, I don't. I don't. I think it was an inside <laughs> job. I think. I think what we're seeing now is we're seeing the turn of Dwight. Yeah. Um. Because that needs to happen. I think. I think it's. I think they would be remiss if they didn't fucking put. Yeah. That 
into the story. Like, that's a great thing, you know, and Dwight becomes a major character. So, you know, why wouldn't they? You know what I'm saying? Yeah. No, it, why? I, they'd be wasting an actor because the actor for Dwight is pretty freaking good. Yeah, no, he's pretty good. He's pretty good. Yeah, I do believe really that um, that the, the, that it was, it, it, the signs call for it being Dwight. Am I a thousand percent? I'm not exactly. I mean, look, straight. I'm not. Yeah, I, I wouldn't say I'm like. I wouldn't say it could I'm be, completely it could be sold. The, I'm going balls deep on the, some a thousand percent. Know, oh, he's, he's, all the, he's all in. He's all in, folks. Boathouse, you know, could even be that person. Well, I originally somebody... thought it was like, but then like, you know, so you know, well, right, he so let, I, would he let these people steal his stuff? Well, he would. Know? Hold on, hold on. He would if he wants to follow them back to where they are. Yes, and then we obviously see the person raid did them. Do. The only thing I don't like about that idea is that you're going to add another fucking dipshit character. Well, like, you added that fucking town, Oceanside. Like, it could be one of cares? them, too. It could be one of them, it's too. Not one of them. I don't know. If it's it one could of be, them. right. I mean, obviously, it could be anyone. But if we're, if we're predicting here, you got to jump on the fence at some point. I mean, off the fence. They you got to. Oceanside for a reason, right? If it's Oceanside, I want Rick or somebody to just blow their heads off immediately. <laughs> but that How about could this? Be, How about this? That could be the way they they become allies or something, you know? It could be, but I, I really want Dwight to be there this early on. No, I do too. I do too. How about this? What let's 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 throw this out there. What do you guys think is gonna happen with Oceanside? Are we gonna see them this this season? Will they be part of the um the union? I hope so. Why are we wasting an hour and 20 minute friggin' episode on them? Yeah, I gotta agree with that. It, it was a waste of an episode if they don't. Do I want them to? No. They could have cut that whole they could have cut that whole episode down to, to about minutes. 10 minutes, even shorter, right? <laughs> and move everything up. We could have had Hey, here's Tara. Hey. Look, look what they did with, look what they did with Carol and Morgan in the in the in the in the, in the midseason, okay? There was only yeah. like maybe five minutes total of them, and well, that's we what got part. Like, that's I all they needed. That. Yeah, yeah, it was five minutes. So if you could have, if you could have eliminated a majority of the Oceanside episode, moved everything down one, you could have had the mid-season finale end with Rick meeting Ezekiel and start yeah. the new season. Well, I mean, they got their plan. How about this? Do you, you know, think you could have got another? We could have got a whole another episode. We could have got episode nine. In episode eight. Right. Well, th this is what I think is going to happen, okay, because of Oceanside. They're going to go back to Alexandria. He's going to explain to them what's going on. They're And, they're, oh, you know, we, we spoke to these people in this place called the Kingdom, blah, blah, blah. I assume they're going to go there right away, right? Yeah. Um, then when they do get back to Alexandria, he's going to be explaining to everybody, and Tara's going to step forward and be like, oh, hey, by the way, okay, look, I lied. I did find this place. They have guns. They have people. They're also and then being. Rosita's going to be ticked. Yeah, yeah but she but being somehow I think. But that's what goes back to. Remember when I said about the um the the casings. Yeah. In the sand, yeah. you know, it could yeah. always go back to, you know. But I think, I think that's, that's what's going to happen, though. I think I yeah. think Tara's going to step up, and then and Rick's going to be like, "Oh, great, okay, good. Why? I still can't see a reason why, but they're going to end up working it in. So, um, I, I, why don't we do? I, what do you guys think? I'll tell you. I'll tell you how I feel after. But and you guys probably already know how I feel because I've said it before. But how do you think that we're going to see the fighting start this season? We obviously going to get the union. Look, what do we have? Eight episodes left. Eight episodes. Eight. Okay, they're not going to fucking take eight episodes to gather everybody. That would be fucking boring. I got a no, good but... theory on where it's going to end this season. So. Well, that's my point. Okay, so go there. What do you What do you think? Where where is it going to fucking – where do you think so, it's going to end? So a little bit of backstory on it. In the comics, we have this, like, fighting between the two groups. We have a trade-off of one character, yada, yada, yada. Um, we'll get to that later because we got to get theory on that. But there is a part where there are grenades starting to be thrown into Alexandria by the Saviors. And I have this, for some ungodly reason, picture in my mind of the – final cut of this season being one of them maybe Dwight because at this point he's playing both sides he's having to convince Negan and then he's still part of their side maybe he's the first one to throw one it goes over the wall and we cut to black 
that's what I'm thinking happens. That's and maybe while well, it's possible. cutting to black, we hear the explosion and somebody scream. Oh, like we did last season when they fucking when he hit well, the fucking. in the com- in the comic book now, there's multiple. It's not just all out war right off the bat. No, no, no don't right? they have a couple? Uh, there's like, or, there's is a it couple more than one skirmish or skirmish or something. All right, so we have um, after he guts Spencer. Yeah. Uh, we we already have the dirt build up on the walls, so like they have these perches here on the walls. They don't have these now. Um, but it's Carl, as I believe Alyssa Jett said in the comments below, uh, on our finale video that shoots Lucille. So that's what sparks the first battle. They fight there at Alexandria and Rick goes out after like a ceasefire or something. Andrea's up in the tower, shoots down at him. That sort of stuff there. That's Mm -hmm. battle number one. They follow them back to the sanctuary. Battle number two, Holly Abraham's lover gets captured because she rams the zombie barricade. Uh, She gets taken prisoner and she's almost raped. Guy gets killed and more or less she dies and they take her a zombified corpse there, make them think it's Holly. And that's when we get the grenades being thrown over the wall. Yeah. So we see, we, we see that there's, you know, and obviously in all that Negan isn't kill. You know, obviously Negan's still alive. No. But the whole no. stabbing Negan thing is still a, a, a ways away. No, that's uh, that's a good like because, ten issues away. Yeah, was so that the same initial, time that that happens like to Rick's battles. leg? That was the same yeah. time he's. That's when he has that final. Uh, that was that like that fight with him. Yeah, when he stabs him is the final fight. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. So that's so there's multiple. That's where I wanted to get to because I, I knew. Spoilers, by the way. <laughs> yeah. Well, Sorry. I knew. I knew Whoops. that there were multiple um, f- battles. It's not just to the war. You know what I mean? So, um, will we see maybe one of these battles or um, uh, an initial kind of battle ensue before the end of the season? I kind of think. I kind of think um, along that way because. Think about it. We have eight episodes left, right? So they're going to have to get... I think that the whole kind of unionizing everybody will kind of get, like you guys said, uh, kind of quick. Maybe an episode or two. But they're still going to need weapons. Oceanside. So I, I'm saying it lasts until the second half or the first half of next season. Yeah. So a build-up of it is going to be, you know, maybe a few episodes, three, four episodes or so, five episodes could be... The initial um, unionizing and getting up their weapons, right? Yeah. So there could be room in there. There could be like a little three episode, two, three episodes where um, there is that first initial attack and that first fight back part of it. Because obviously this whole season, it was nothing but tail between your legs, Alexander. Yeah, There's got to be some like fighting in this. Yeah, so I, I think, think yeah, I, I, anything I, with Negan getting injured or the whole Rick stabbing Negan. I don't think we're going to get to that, but I think that there could be an initial attack. By I think, the, yeah, I think there's got to be. I agree. There's going to be a fight. There's going to be fighting. There's going to be that. Okay, we we can't say they're going to go the the route of the comic, but there's probably going to be more than one fight. Yeah, I kind of. I'm, I'm trying to it's think. Gonna, of... It's going to have to be because we look at what happened in this finale. Daryl's escaped, right? Daryl yeah. kills Fat Joey, right? Um, if Dwight is is playing both sides, or if Dwight is leaning towards leaving Negan, you know, um, uh, you know, just just the overall Negan is going to want blood now. You yeah. know what yeah. I mean? Yeah. So I I can't see them. You know, Negan's going to right off the bat want to attack them so i can't see them drawing out eight episodes no Uh, no there's gonna be so without any battles right so there's definitely gonna be attacks on um rick's group or some kind of there's gonna be a failed attack let's put it this way there's gonna be a failed attack i think there's gonna be that failed attack and you know we i think i think they're gonna kill another cast member Mm. It might be, you know, we, we discussed off camera whether Sasha's going to be Holly, that character, yeah. where I'm it's... I'm going to Rosita. 
you think Rosita. So or Rosita. It could it be could, Rosita or, ho- yeah. or what? You know what though? But well, Jesse, mm. let some. Well, you kind of did get into Holly a little bit. Well, that's but why Holly, she's Abraham's yeah. lover. Yeah, she, she takes they, Sasha's place. Yeah, she kind of. I takes think. Sasha's I think that that. I think that. I think we're gonna lose someone before the end of the season. I think it's probably. I think. I think. You're right, Jesse. I think I'm gonna agree with you in that. It will. We're gonna get a fight, and by the mm-hmm. end of the season, we're gonna get that. A, that next fight back at Alexandria where it's going to so, start. So are you on the, on the team of the grenade going and cutting? I think the I am. Yeah, I think I am because I'm, I really do feel that hmm. we're going to finish. We're going to finish Negan's story by mid season, season eight. And oh, dude, I just thought of something else too. It could end with like the hood coming up on Holly and we don't quite see she's a Walker or Holly. And then the beginning be the, you know, the battle. Reveal. Right. Yeah. yeah. Um, but I mean, then what again, if, what, there was, that so I mean next season we're definitely gonna get the fight between Rick and Negan. That's where Judith yeah. dies. You know? And what about yeah. um what about Eugene? Now in the oh. comic book he gets taken too. He and does. doesn't he make he, blanks? He got, he got taken now. Yeah, but in the comic he gets taken also. Right. That, that was another comment that and corrected he us. makes doesn't he make like faulty bullets or something I, for Negan or something like that, I think. It's weird what I remember of this, but I don't remember Eugene's part. I remember it. It might have been faulty. It might have been blank. I think. I don't think. I think. Um. He was because you know. Oh like wait, I said, no, I wasn't. Didn't Dwight break him out? So, he, from what I. Thought, it's too much, man. It's too. Much. I'd have yeah. to go back and read like twenty issues. Yeah. Just to, I, I just think that's the list of shit, and I have this yeah. conversation in the yeah. comments. Yeah, yeah. I think it's so, um, guys. Think... If you guys are caught up on the comic more than we are at this point, let us know. We, we, we. <laughs> kind of impossible to be. I'm just saying. I mean, yeah. you could, you could, you, you could say that we didn't do our homework, but at the same time, we're not. We don't really want to be like, oh, in the comic, it was. I mean, and this, I know this, this episode has been a lot of us comparing to the comic, but when you have predictions you and have the fact no that choice. they've been staying yeah. so close yeah. to the comic. These are the things I mean, that we I don't want to go back and read 30 issues because we have limited time. Yeah. Just saying. But, right. So I'm not even so, technically even that far. Yeah. <laughs> Mike's, I <laughs> feel bad, Mike. Up. I'm only at like 107. But, you see, but that's your, but see, you, because you didn't want to go ahead. At this point, you should just fucking finish the I arc, should man. Read them. I should read them. Just finish I the arc, man. I kind of do feel like we're doing a disservice that we don't know exactly about what's going on right now in the comic book. But from what, from what I um, do r- have heard is that he he does make um i believe like a like a faulty bullets or something yeah, like that something I like mean, that yeah something like that but um yeah i really i think that it's gonna end negan's arc will end mid-season next season and then and then the season the mid-season of eight coming back will be the break will be the the time jump or it might just get eight episodes next season and we take a like year and a half off. I don't think they're gonna do that. No, then the AMC is so damn money hungry. Shit, I mean, you you can't kill a cash call like, uh, cash hog like this. <laughs> yeah, no, I don't. I can't see them. No, but they got a lot though. Don't you know? They got the yeah. humans is coming back. They have Badlands Into coming the bad back. Lands, yeah. Right? They've got they if they got... get a second or a third season of that. That show. This this show is so. Well, they got a second season, so. <laughs> yeah, there's no uh, way. But anyway. So... We got that trailer for the next season. We've talked about it. And I think we have one last topic. Who's yeah. Rick chasing? And I have an idea on that one now that we've talked about the possibility of the grenades. Well, let me ask you this, though. Is he chasing somebody? Or I think is he's he... chasing someone. I, he could be. I, I kind of get the impression that he was. All right. We don't know for sure. Well, this is total speculation. But yeah. he could have been out su- for supplies. He could have been doing this. He could have been doing that. But it looks like he's side by side. Yeah, we'll call that a chase. I would call that a chase. I don't know. I mean, I don't necessarily think he was chasing anybody. No, but I don't. Think... I don't mean in the in the strictest sense. I mean, like, I think, like, yeah, he was in a car battle. And he was going. Yeah, he was yeah. in like a car ba- Mad Max style car battle. Yeah. On like a bridge, I think it looked like or something. Maybe I don't know. Yeah, something. Now I, I want to see that. someone like. On the poles from Mad Max with the freaking thunder spears, like yeah, right, yeah. <laughs> what a great movie. Yeah. Um, yeah. But I mean, yeah, Bunch of nerds here. Yeah, but I mean, like, yeah, I don't know, like I, that, that that to me was like very form. We also saw Daryl beaten down on someone's face. 
Yeah. The fuck is that from? You know, like where, what, what is that about? Could be Dwight. Mm -hmm. It could be Dwight. Could be Dwight. I mean, could be Dwight because Dwight comes back and's like, "Hey guys, hey, I I'm on be, your side now." Yeah, I want to be friends, and Dwight's like, "Motherfucking fuck face fucker." Well, and he look just at look, 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 that's like reminiscent of when um, Rick came back with Daryl and Merle, and <laughs> and fucking Glenn saw. So I'm like, what is he doing here? Yeah, yeah, you know, yeah, when yeah, he was yeah. still at the prison. Yeah. Uh, yeah. Bringing up Glenn, man, really? Right? Hey. <laughs> hey, Those man, his legacy. Favorites, He's got man. a legacy, man. No yeah, one could ever. Hell, yeah. You know. yeah. You know, look at look at what Merle did to Glenn. And for, yeah. and for that's when Daryl chose to leave with yeah. Merle for a while. Yeah. And... I, I got to say, it's thanks to Merle that we got such awesomeness in season three from Glenn. Yeah. Yeah, Glenn Smash, you know? Yeah. Yeah. With the with the whole chair scene and everything, but yeah, not yeah, going yeah. you know. Yeah, it was yeah. So who I mean we miss Glenn. We miss <laughs> yeah, Glenn I a know. lot. Yeah, we miss Glenn. Um it's good character. Guys, what do you think? Was it I mean anything else um that that you we want to touch upon? Ah, uh, I, I just I, trying to go through the the video and I, I mean it's, they didn't give us much. I mean, they really didn't give us It was 35 us seconds. Yeah. They well, were then, both yeah, you know. We got to see Simon Og, AK or Simon Og. Simon Og. Simon Og. Simon Og. That's my cousin. We're calling him Simon Og from now on. Yeah, I, right, I'm calling, calling Simon it. Og. I mean, yeah. yeah, I don't know. I mean, I don't know. What do you guys think out there? there what are you guys there's watching? There's some guys... speculation. I've looked into yeah. it that yeah. he's chasing Simon, but... Uh, that was another discussion in the Simon? comments there, but I've looked further into it, but I don't think Rick's chasing Simon. They they placed that there purposefully where it's like, oh, he Simon's in a car and Rick's chasing someone or it looks like he's chasing someone. No, oh, look, you notice AMC that he likes to jerk you around a little bit. You know, when mm -hmm. Simon, he, he bangs the side of the car and that's the same universal symbol for let's get going. So yeah. he's just picking up supplies. We also saw a scene when it, and it looked like the same scene from the 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 only kingdom episode we got when richard was fighting the guy he, richard's got the gun to the other guy's face and that yeah. looks like, like the same shot that was from that with morgan was standing there with a stick yeah. so you know they're recycling shots and making us think things like they're just throwing shit out there i, well, I mean look that's why they call it a teaser boys yeah, exactly yeah yeah seriously yeah. Ooh. You know, we we know for from the the you know the Rise Up um, trailer and from the Talking Dead clip, those that's the majority of what we're gonna see right off the bat. Yeah. I you know I think we all feel that way and yeah. uh, we're going to the I kingdom, fellas. I, you know, I just can't wait to see Rick and everybody. They're getting their balls back. Yeah, you know what I mean? Yeah. Getting it's their good. fucking mojo it's back. Good. Everyone's been everyone. I think I think you're gonna see um, the numbers excited. pick up in the second yeah. half of the season. Because I hope so because I. I'm pretty disappointed in Walking Dead fans for, you know, straying away from the show because of the first episode. Meanwhile, this is the most original, bear with me, original stuff that's been on the show, meaning you're getting away from this group being this group. Yeah. As a you badass. Get the like comic. But the comic's still so much originality there. You don't know what's going to happen next. They could follow yeah. the comic. They could follow that, well, their that's own my freaking point, dreams. Though. So people who don't read the comic, if I was watching this, if I was watching this, without having knowing of any of the comic, I would have been like, "This is fucking amazing!" Because you have you have a villain like you've never seen before. Yeah. Right. We have the group not only breaking up but being like decimated. Like the they built this and and it's and and you know kudos to the producing team and the writers because they built this team up to be like you know think of any army in history like the fucking how about like the romans they were fucking unstoppable you know or, or or before them the persians all right they were um they were unstoppable all right nearly conquered all of that area that's what rick's group is the germans <laughs> no, well yeah. they were unstoppable for a little bit yeah well, they thought they were. Yeah, but the point is, that's <laughs> that's British. that's like what I'm talking about. So yeah. they, in seven seasons, we've built this group up, and they and you you have to tear them down because again, you know, was it wait, was it Westworld now? Who was it? What, the only place to go is up. Yeah, it was it was in Westworld. Um, she um she was telling 
who was it? What, what's her name again? Natalie or something? Uh, You're talking about Charlotte? Charlotte telling Ford in Westworld, the only, once well, you no, reach no, the top. Well, no, no. She's saying, like, once you're at the top, there's only, the only one way to, way to go. go. Get, that's my Down. point. Yeah. That's yeah. my point. Yeah. So the fact yeah. that people were upset with the fact that this group was being brought to their knees, like, if you don't do that, then mm -hmm. the show's not going to last because you're going to complain that it's too boring anyway and you're going to stop yeah. watching, so you need this stuff. Anyway, anyway well, long tangent. I agree with you, Jess. If, Fuck it, man. Just be happy with what you're getting because this is some really yeah. fucking dope shit. One it is. It is. I it is. don't understand. And Mike, I think you've touched on this one before. People are saying that Negan's too long drawn out, that he likes to take his time and make his enunciations. <laughs> I think it's perfect. Listen, you can't throw f bombs around. So what else are you gonna no. do? You gotta have no. your own. You gotta have a Charisma. different. Yeah, you got to have that. He does. He definitely he definitely has, you know, he's obviously a charismatic, you know, character. Some bitch. You know, look the whole the whole dinner scene where Carl's in a fucking apron and Negan's sitting at the head of the table and you know what I mean? So yeah, you you you, you love to hate him. He's much different than the governor character, which is really or like the Gareth. last kind of villain or yeah. yeah, well Gareth never really um scared me. You know, he kind of came. He was off like a little. A he was like a, yeah, he yeah. Was he's like just a like a. He was just like a fucking hipster kind of, piece yeah, of shit. Twenty year old fucking douchebag, scrawny kid. Yeah. You know, Rick. So, not that I'm saying anything like about you. hipsters. I have a beard yeah. too. I'm just saying. <laughs> no, but this is you know we we really we couldn't stand even though uh, I think it was David Morrissey right was the governor. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So yeah, David Morrissey. Even though he's a he was a great actor. I mean, I thought he did a great job. Yeah. Fantastic. Yeah. You you hated him. That was it. He didn't really have these one liners and this and this. He didn't of, give you the dynamic. Yeah, exactly. That that Negan does. So there are a lot of people that are like they have the women that love Daryl. There are there are a lot of people that love Negan the same the same way. My biggest thing with with does that make the, me a woman? Feel <laughs> <laughs> like a woman. Uh, yeah. I, mean, I like Daryl's uh -huh. character a lot, and I like Norman Reedus as an actor. Uh -huh. No, but that's what I, I mean. I my biggest my biggest um, question for the next mid, for the mid season uh, season seven and even into the future in episode in this season uh, season eight is how long is Negan going to be around? That's the biggest question because we know from the comic book without getting into all this again and discussing all this extra stuff again. <laughs> but we know he's still around, and we know how much further along yeah. we right. are yeah. in, the, in the comic book. So that's at least a good two years thing. ahead. Yeah. Yeah. And all right. So we're around what 108 or something like 109 uh, comic book of where we are on the show. No, right? we're getting now we're around we're, 107. We're getting well, right, no, we're so, going to be getting but, but to 110, they, which yeah, is what we just went over. Nine or something on the on the comics. You're not far off. We're 162. Yeah. 162. Well, whatever. All right. Let me get my point out. But that's what it is. Nah. We we see that there's sixty some odd issues or so, and Negan's still around. So what is the show going to do differently from what they're doing in the comic book? Are they going to kill Negan off? Is Negan going to be killed off right away? Are they going to introduce another group like they do like in the comic book? That's my biggest question about this thing. If they do have a battle, like we were discussing, if there is a battle, are they going to be these initial small little battles, which I think will happen, but. Yeah. Will there be one or two, and then finally it's, ah, Negan, you're dead, kind of a thing. Right. You know what I mean? Are they going to capture Negan? That's why we have the cell that Morgan built. Are they going to capture him for a little while? Maybe he'll escape or something? Uh, that's, what I'm, that's what I'm anticipating in the show, and that's what I'm excited about, really. My biggest question, though, is how long will they draw this out? You know? How long will Negan be around? Um, will he be a lasting character? Will he not just be around for another season or so for, you know, a, a total of two seasons or whatever it is? Or is he going to be on the show for three seasons or we'll see him develop, you know, other... All right, well, look, this is, this is, this is, this is what I think. If, if they don't keep him around, all right, they've never had a character on this show that... Every character on this show, yes, we've had we've had some growth. We've had a lot of character development, but they stay inside their wheelhouse. Do you know what I'm saying? Yeah. Like, 
Glenn was a little like, oh, timid kind of thing. And then he became like kind of a leader. And Rick was also, oh, well, I don't know what's going on. And now I'm a leader. Shane went from, I'm okay. Now I'm a maniac. But t- listen, it never, it never, they, you didn't have these turnaround of characters. They were all, you saw the development and, and it was all in their wheelhouse and it was part of them. If you have a, a character like Negan, and they follow what goes on in the comics, and he sticks around. He's obviously not going to be a threat anymore. That's a fucking something that this show could definitely use. That that type of character is something this show needs. You know what I mean? Yeah. Because it's going to give... We don't give... need a two-season villain like the governor that just plops off at the end. Right. Yeah. This is going to be someone that's always... Because now we're always going to have yeah. a threat. That's why the comic is so fun. Because, and again, not getting into f- that much further, but it's just like, yeah, he's still around. And if you want to know, yeah. you know, h- how or why, go read the comics. Read but, the comics. <laughs> and then watch our reviews. Yeah. And watch our review. But that's what yeah, I'm saying. Exactly. I think, I think, yeah, I think they're going to keep him around because the show needs it. Look, this show, TV, the TV version can last just as long as the comic book version because of what mm-hmm. happens in the comic. Sorry if people don't like that it follows the comic, but you know what? The comic has really come into its own. It's got a nice... One of the best ones out there. It's got Yeah, it's got a... It's one of the longest running fucking series, especially zombie series, if anything. Yeah. But it's one yeah, of the longest, longest running, running fucking... Most recent series. Exactly. That's... There's a reason, because the writing is fantastic, and where it goes it is. is fantastic. And the illustration is awesome. And this show... Yeah, I'm not kidding. <laughs> but wait, this show can last just as long and not be boring. Yeah and not get tired you know what i mean so i'm just saying like when i read that comic i was the first thing i read i'm sorry the first thing i thought when i got to very specific parts multiple times i thought holy shit if they do this in the tv show this show can last forever (laughs) i wish i had that first comic i'll tell you that you know yeah but anyway so so yeah so so okay so we went a lot of tangents we went all over the place so this this was more of a you know, it's a discussion yeah. prediction. <laughs> Talk about the Walking Dead video. Um, but anyway, um, all right, I I think that that's gonna do it for us here, right? Yeah. yeah. Continue right. the discussion down in the comments. We're always ready to talk. Yep. And let's not forget, um, guys, we're gonna be doing a Q and A video for the Walking Dead. Um, so are we gonna include whatever like we did on the last Q and A, guys? We're gonna kind of any kind of question from seasons in the past or are we gonna just yeah anything you want yeah yeah any questions you have we're gonna have a separate video for you to put your comments in you can put them down here but chances are well chances are we're gonna bring we'll, we'll find them but, but we're, gonna be, we're, it's but we're specifically making a video for you guys to throw your comment your uh, question yeah. so. all right so that's it that's the only thing we're gonna plug guys we want to thank you very much for watching this video thanks for hanging out with us for the whole uh first half of that of this season we're loving it. We're loving your comments. We're loving you guys are enjoying the show with us, and it's it's fucking great. TV is fucking awesome, and we're just so happy to be here, able to do this. Um, and a and golden share. age of television. What? In a golden age of television. It is. It is. I feel like it is, man. It's really good. It's it's the nineteen fifties. And there's too much to watch, man. <laughs> Dude, you got, you got such awesome shows. You can't help but love them. Oh, there are. There are a lot. Of, not enough time, man. Shows. There's not enough time for TV or video games. You're oh, telling maybe. me I'm not caught up on Agents <laughs> of Shield, and I love it. Yeah. Anyway, that's going to do it. Um, this has been Chris, Mike, and Jesse. Aha! Fooled you fuckers! Wowzers. We love you guys. Oh, really? We're going to see you on the next video, so peace out, guys. And the force is with me. Oh. <laughs>